These incidents are symptomatic of a foundational sickness within our father and his company. Don't you use that tongue prettier than a $20 whore? <laughs> yeah, like, what's your point? My point is the milk is going sour. Well, that explains you it. You know, the, the great whites, from politics to culture, they're rolling off stage. It's our time. Oh, you mean us? This multi-fucking ethnic transgender alliance of 20-something dreamers we got right here? <laughs> Okay, big picture, we're at the end of the long American century. Our company is a declining empire inside a declining empire. Amen, brother. People are, are, are killing themselves with guns or dope so fast that we're losing pace. Unsubscribe. We're, we're fat-fingered fucks and we can only live on cream. U.S. supremacy is waning. What I think is, within that context, we can become omninational and reposition. Because actually we are not tied, culturally or physically, so, so we are actually in a great position to leapfrog tech. Information is going to be more precious than water in the next hundred. Combine all our news operations, become the global news information hub. Amazon is 20 years old, Gates is an old geezer. Detoxify our brand and we can go supersonic. So what do you say? Are we interested? Uh, yeah, there's just something about betraying our father that just doesn't sit well with me. He's a central player in a rotten cabal that has basically eaten okay, the well, heart out of American democracy. Rotten cabal is a good name for a band. He's not going to be on trial for that, though, Cap. Well, maybe he should be. Yeah, but if he didn't do it, it would have been someone else making the same dollar off the same shit. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe we're all irrelevant. You know, maybe there were always going to be death camps and maybe the planet is going to fry and there's nothing we can do. Or maybe people make a difference. I don't know. Do you, do you think human beings matter? You know, I'm just going to say right out that I'm a spy. I'm going to go back and tell him everything. I'm a dad, so yeah. Fuck you. Fine, fine. I, I don't actually give a fuck. You know, I'm, I can perfectly well do this alone. I'm actually just trying to be open-hearted and, and invite you in here. I mean, it would probably be simpler to go alone, but I want to offer you a fucking ticket to the escape pod. Nice fucking guy, huh? You're happy he went over your head and put in Jerry? I think that Jerry is a good choice, yeah. <laughs> oh. What? Whatever. Defend Dad all you want, but Jerry can look after herself. Yeah, I know that. I'm not defending Jerry. You can't I'm hide under the covers with Mommy. Oh, fuck off, Siobhan. Oh, you love showing your pee-pee to everyone, but someday you know you're actually gonna have to fuck something. Fuck you. Rome, bitch. What? Leave it. Rome, what? just... What? Rome. Okay, fine. I'll... That was low. That was an overreaction. That was not. Can we just try to keep this nice? Yeah? It's not my fault he's got a sex thing. Was I too harsh? Are you kidding? He loves it. He'll, he'll be out there jerking off wearing my ex-wife's panties. 